So hello and welcome to Kuwait. If you are a regular subscriber to my channel, you will know that I haven't posted for a while since I was in Pakistan. I've been to Taiwan, Japan, Indonesia between then, um, just working on my blog. But I'm starting my 2020 travels early. I've got a big year planned. So make sure you subscribe to see all of my videos. And I have come to Kuwait because next I go to Saudi Arabia. Kuwait is known as a little bit of a boring city and country because there's not that many touristic things to do but luckily I had a friend here so I've been seeing Kuwait with them and his family for the last few days. Right now I am in the desert but we actually started my trip in the city yesterday. <music> So we've got an awesome view of Kuwait City here, we've got the Kuwait Towers here and then the largest concrete building in the world there. And I'm currently along the, on the scientific centre part of the city, we've got this gorgeous gorgeous water here, a view of the city all the way over here and we're basically going to head into the city. <laughs> local Kuwaiti lunch. It is just the restaurant I'd really recommend you come here if you are coming to Kuwait and it's just behind Marina Mall um, next to Marks and Spencers and it's got these flags behind it so definitely come here for some good Kuwaiti food. <laughs> Okay, so we are actually jumping on a boat now to the city. Um, if you are coming to Kuwait because you're watching this, um, I am gonna do a blog post with more details on how to get around and how I'm doing all of this, so make sure you check that out. I will link it below. Um, but so far, like first impressions of Kuwait are really, really good. Obviously, it's helped that I know people here. I feel like coming here on my own um, wouldn't have maybe been a good idea. I think that's probably why people think it's a bit boring. Um, but the people here have been really, really friendly, super, super safe city um, it is expensive but yeah first impressions good okay so the boat trip was actually like a round boat trip so we went back to the port um, and then we just jumped in a taxi I think this was about 1 kd um, so you can definitely still just get taxis here we just got this on the side of the road um, but Kareem is also popular here and now we've come down to as close as we can get to the Q8 towers Ooh, you can't really see them they're there because there's no clouds so you literally just see the sun go all the way down just so so beautiful we have now come into the downtown area and we are coming to the main mosque here we've got the call of prayer happening absolutely love the call of prayer i think we're doing a tour actually in the mosque so that'll be interesting And we've just had a tour actually which started at what time did it start 5 30 
at 5.30, um, which was really interesting. Just learned a little bit more about the mosque and about Islam. Obviously, I'm wearing an abaya. They have them here. They give you to, them to you. Um, but yeah, really interesting and such a beautiful mosque. Come down into downtown Kuwait and I feel like it's pretty busy now. People do stay out here pretty late. Um, things go on until like 10 o'clock midnight. So it's a good time to be here. Um, also cools down in the evening, which is why everyone goes out. Whoa, this suit that we're in now is really cool because it just feels pretty old, um, but still very modern as well, but completely different to the kind of skyscraper side of the city we've seen so far. I am going to Saudi Arabia in a few days. I needed to get myself an Abaya and literally there are so many stores here that are just absolutely full. I didn't realize there were this many versions of Abayas, but I think this is the one. So this is a famous shop. It is a famous shop. This is the guy when he was there. Oh yeah. <laughs> what? This is Zafaron, yeah? No, no sauce. I love it, thank you. Shukran. Ah, shukran. Fifty. Fifty. Yeah. Five zero. Wow, fifty. Yes. This shop. This is my father. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Very impressive. Yeah. Welcome, welcome to Kuwait. Thank Thank you. Thank you. So this is what we call Persian ice cream. Persian ice cream. Persian ice cream. First time trying it. I literally can't even work out what it's made from. We don't know. Mm. Wow. I actually wasn't even expecting it to be cold. It's <laughs> just ice cream. It's ice cream. <laughs> My name, yeah. it doesn't even look like. Look okay, so a lot of ice. And rose. I'm kind of like pasta. <laughs> no, it kind of looks <laughs> like pasta, but it's obviously not. But it's not But yeah, the, pasta. the saffron is really nice. Saffron and rose. Yeah. yeah. Good. Eaten so many sweets today. <laughs> I feel like that's what you do in the yeah. Middle East. Yeah, so I'm all here, here for it. That. desert and this is something that is really popular that the Kuwaitis do on the weekend because it's essentially just Kuwait city and the desert so everyone comes to the desert on the weekends even if they don't camp overnight um, just come here spend the day spend the evening here which is exactly what we're about to do 